this is Jen from Internet Lessons. In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert a Google Calendar into your Serif Web Plus website. Now, Serif does have its own calendar function. However, I quite like using Google Calendar because it means you can go into Google, update your calendar, and it will dynamically update on your website without having to go into Serif, cha make changes, and then upload it. So basically what you need to do is create a page or choose a location where you're going to put your calendar, which I've done here. You then need to go over to Google. So I've opened up Google and you need to sign in. Now, if you haven't got a Google account already, you just need to click create an account for free. But I have, so I'm just going to sign in. Once you're signed in, you need to go to calendar. And I've got several calendars here because I've been um, playing around with its functionality. What you need to do is if you need to create a new calendar, you just come to this drop down arrow by the side of my calendars and create a new calendar and then give it a name. I'm just going to call this one hairdressing because this is the one I'm going to put onto my hairdressing website. Um, if you want to leave a description so you know exactly what it's about, then you can enter it in here. like that and obviously you can change your country and your time zone next you need to make this calendar public now if you click on the little learn more box it says there you need to you only select this if you want to make your information available to the world which is what we do because it's going to be on our website but what you can do is if you want it for people to see when you're busy or available and that was all you could um put a check in this box here and it would hide the actual details of where you're going to be. But the way I'm looking at this calendar is perhaps um, putting in um, bridal fairs or um, hairdressing events where you could go and meet the hairdresser. So that's why I'm going to leave that one unchecked. You can share the calendar with other people, but at the moment I don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to click create calendar. So I'm going to agree to this. Yes, I'm sure about that. OK, now we'll get, what we're going to do is um, we are going to come down to the drop down arrow next to the calendar I've just created. And I am going to come to share this calendar and calendar details. And as if we scroll down the screen, you can see that I have the option to embed the calendar. First of all, you might want to click on customize the color and size and other options. So as you can see on here, it does have a title hairdressing. So we can choose whether we want that to show or not. I don't think I probably want that to show, so I can take that off. Um, I'm quite happy with the navigation bar so people can change through the month. That's OK. Um, it's got today's date on the top of it. Let's see what that does. Yeah, I think we like having December on there. You can give people the option to print it. If you don't want them to do, you can take that off. Um, so you can see, basically, you can modify it to a certain extent. Now, we'll be coming back to this um, width and height in a minute, because when we actually embed the calendar on my web page, you'll see it's probably a little bit on the big side. But I want to show you that first, and then we'll come back and we'll change that one. So you can also change the day the day that the week the week starts on and also the language and the background color so if you wanted to make it fit in with your website more you could change this and you could add a border if you so wish okay so because we've made a couple of changes i'm going to click update html here and then i'm going to copy so i've highlighted it i'm going to push Control c on my keyboard and then i'm going to come back across to my website so i'm going to, go to insert HTML fragment and I'm going to draw a box. It doesn't really matter what size this box is because it's going to fit the size that you've preset your calendar to be. So click paste the body and then OK. So now if I preview this page, so we go to file, preview site, or you can push alt plus two, whichever is easier. And you'll see now that I have got my calendar. Now, it's not fitting very well on there, really, is it? So what we need to do is we need to go back and make a couple of modifications to that. So 
we're going back to Google and we're going to change the width. Now I'm going to guess a little bit here and I'm going to put 500 to make it a little bit narrower. I'm going to update my HTML and I'm going to then copy this again. Copy, come across to my website. I'm going to make it easy. I'm just going to delete that fragment and insert another one like that. It might take a little bit of playing around with to make sure you get the size right. Paste a body. OK. So if I preview this again, now when you have a look at it, it fits the page beautifully. So there we go. So now all you need to do is um, publish the web page if you're happy with it and you've got yourself your Google Calendar. I'm now just going to add an event onto this Google Calendar and then I will um, preview my web page again and you'll be able to see how the event will appear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just choose um, Sunday the 30th and I'm going to add on at 2 o'clock. I'm going to put in, I'm going to choose my calendar because that's important, making sure it's the hairdressing calendar. And I'm going to put bridal fair on there. And I'm going to edit the event to show that it goes on until 4.30. And I'm going to put in um, Royal Hotel Torquay. OK, and then you could put a description in here. Um, see my latest bridal hair styles. Whoops. OK, so we're going to say that we're busy. This bit doesn't really matter so much. And um, we can also choose the event colour if you want to. Um, that's fine. Let's put save. OK, so that's added it to our calendar. So we're going to go back to our web page and I'm going to preview because I haven't published this page, but it doesn't matter because it'll still work. So if I go to Alt 2 and I can preview. Now, we can't see it because it's on the on the Sunday that's not being shown. So we click on the right arrow there and there we are. Look, we've got a bridal. And then if I click on it, it shows me it's a bridal fair. It shows me when it is and it says what it's about. So you can click on the map and there will show the location of the hotel where you're going to be so that your customers can come and find you. So there we go. So that is basically how you can use Google Calendar on your Serif website. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.